my foot is in a bad situation this hike was total disaster <laughs> i know that there are horses but like i don't trust the horse <laughs> no one is holding the horse <laughs> oh my god <sighs> hello everybody i'm in arequipa now it looks so nice look at this church it's all like white buildings i'm not sure if they're made out of the ashes of the volcano i'll i'll search it and let you know i'm not sure <laughs> and i met with hey. malik in the What's bus up? From, from Puerto Maldonado so we're just going around now I should do that oh, I think it's with B <laughs> we came to the oh, hostel <gasps> oh they are so there. cute Bristol and Amazon <laughs> We came to the hostel. This hostel is amazing. We're in a tree house now. Okay, wait. I have the drink store. Like this. Woo. Just enjoying life. There's a pool. We're looking at snow. Just checked in to the room. The room is so cool. Look at it. It's like two floors. I think we're gonna check the market and one of the monasteries if it's still open. The monastery was closed, so we came to the market. Interesting. Oh my god, is this a head of a pig? They make juice from this corn and it tastes so good. 10 out of 10. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I got a huge meal. It's called Lomo Saltado. It looks like a Turkish food to me. Some noodles. I'm gonna wake up at 2.30. Maybe 2.45 am. Tomorrow another hike. Oh my god. In Peru my sleep schedule was like basically waking up at 4 am and sleeping at 9 pm. <laughs> First time in my life I'm gonna do a multi-day hike, so it's gonna take two days. We're gonna go to Coca Canyon and then go down the first day and then go up the second day. It's gonna be interesting. So I'll see you tomorrow morning. Very exciting. Seven thirty. We drove for like four hours and we're in the first viewpoint. Psychologically I feel like I feel the altitude, but probably I shouldn't. We're in this second viewpoint so there are like condors flying here three meter wingspan length birds they're huge <laughs> this is the beginning of the hike there's a little store here i don't know i look at everyone's shoes and then i look at mine <laughs> We're going here. <laughs> I basically need to look at where I'm stepping at all times so I don't slide. Today we're going down in the canyon and tomorrow we're going up in the canyon. Very exciting. I might take a horse. <laughs> we'll see. So sometimes you have volcanic. This hike is definitely sketchier than I thought. Look at what's above me. I feel like anytime a rock can fall on top of my head. Also, my foot hurts. <laughs> this shoe was not the right choice. Three more hours. They have a court here. This is so hard. <laughs> So for tomorrow, we need to wake up at 4 and not hike this. I don't know if I can do it. Because my group is pretty fit and they're trying to like finish the fastest out of all of the groups. And I'm totally in the opposite mindset. I'm gonna take my time. I don't know, we'll see. I know that there are horses, but like I don't trust the horse because the other side is the cliff. Also, the dog is still coming. I needed hiking shoes. <laughs> okay, bad news. My foot is in a bad situation. My pinkies are very bad. And I don't think I can hike tomorrow. 
and I don't even know if they have horses anymore because I didn't see any horse yes I'm sad. Things went unplanned. <laughs> I can't, I can't stop doing this. Yeah. 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 Good morning, everybody. <laughs> it is 5:30 a.m. And I'm gonna take the mule. I didn't even know what mule means. I guess I'm gonna take a horse and donkey mixture to go up. I'm happy there is an option like that because I was scared there wouldn't be. The guys in my group gave me the thermal and also that jacket. So I feel very lucky. <laughs> Otherwise I will be like so cold probably on top of the mule. And this hike was total disaster. <laughs> I shouldn't have done it. <laughs> But it's okay, we're trying and we're learning. But this was definitely, I would just prefer doing rafting in Arequipa. Anyways, so the others left at 4.30 to hike it. My mule will be ready at 5.30, hopefully. And yeah, we'll see. <sighs> and then I have overnight bus tonight. It's just it's too tiring. I don't know why I did this. <laughs> okay, this is a nice view. <laughs> They told me to come here at 5.30 and there's no one. <laughs> Fuck my life. I think so too. <laughs> okay, they look cute. Oh my god. This is crazy. No one is holding the horse. <laughs> oh my god. The thing I was scared happened. <laughs> there was a girl in front of me in a little horse and the horse got like quite fast out of sudden and then the girl fell pretty bad. The girl fell again and this horse is so tired. It's very sweaty. Also it's crazy we came from here. Like this horse I can't believe. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this vlog was so bad, I didn't talk at all. I'm taking another overnight bus to Ika, so I'm going to Hokuchina. I hope I'm gonna have a better mood. Today my mood was so weird, so I didn't vlog that much. This is my third overnight bus. In the last two weeks, Peru is a tiring country. My sleep schedule changed to 8 p.m. to waking up at 5 uh, a.m. by us. It is what it is. So another 12 hour bus and I'm gonna see you in Huacuchina.